Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. In this next part of our Kitten Live tutorials, we'll take a look at how to add various types of clips to your Kitten Live project, from video, audio, images, or even counters, titles, or plain color clips. Let's start. The clip bin. The clip bin is where all your clips are located. It will display everything sorted by name by default, mixing all types of clips. If you're working on a complex project, I'd advise creating folders to store video, audio and image clips in their respective folders, but you can store files relative to their importance in the project, their frame rate, or whatever you want. The clip bin has a few options to create folders, to delete folders or clips, or to switch the view mode. By default, Kidden Live will use the list view, but you can switch to an icon view if you prefer, as well as adding the date or description for each clip, or adjusting the zoom and size of each element. You also have a button to add more elements, as well as a search field to find specific clips or items. The Clips You can add clips simply with drag and drop, or by clicking the Add Clip button. If you click the main button, you'll get a file picker, but if you click on the small arrow next to that button, you'll get a list with a few interesting options. Here are what they do. Add Clip This brings up the file picker and so has the exact same behavior as clicking the Add Clip button. Add Color Clip. This will add a plain colored image, from which you can select the exact color, as well as the duration, which you'll be able to adjust in the timeline later. This can be useful if you want to add transitions or fades to a specific color. Add Slideshow Clip. This allows you to add an image slideshow as a video clip. Add Title Clip. This will open the Title Clip Creator, a simple interface to create titles with images and texts. Add Template Title Clip. This allows you to add to your project a title template that you've created and saved before. Add Online Resources. This allows you to add copyright-free audio, image and video files from a few different providers including freesound.org, archive.org and the Open Clip Art Graphic Gallery. Add Generator. Generators are a grab bag of various things, including a counter, some white noise, or colored bars to add a vintage look to your video. You can customize these with a few settings if you like. Now let's take a look at some specific clip types. Slideshow clip. A slideshow clip is basically a series of still images turned into a video clip. When you select this option, you'll be able to choose where the images to use are located and select them depending on the MIME type, the type of file, for example JPEG or PNG, or a specific naming pattern in the file name. This allows you to filter which images you might want to use in a specific folder. You can then set the frame duration, which is the time each image will stay displayed before moving on to the next. You can also elect to loop the animation, use the center crop option, which will allow you to avoid having black bars around your images if they are not all at the same resolution or orientation. And you can also add animations between each image. You can select to use a dissolve, which is a simple fade between each image, or use a wipe, which is a more graphic way of making a transition between two images, such as using a shape. We'll talk about wipes in a later video. The animation drop-down menu allows you to add effects to the images themselves, such as zooms, pans, or a combination of both, which is often called the Ken Burns effect. Once you have selected the desired options, you can click OK and add that slideshow to your clip bin. Now is a good time to preview it in the clip monitor or to drag it to the timeline and preview it in the project monitor just to check if it looks the way you want it. Generators Generators include counters, color bars and white noise. White noise is mostly there to use as a sort of animation, for example if you want to cut between two clips with an old TV channel zapping effect. It also handles the audio part that you can mute afterwards if you don't want it. The color bars come with a few presets to reflect the variety of these old screens seen on old Hertz and TVs. Finally, the counters allow you to add a counter screen, counting up or down, to tease a reveal for example. You can make the background transparent or even add sound. Once you've clicked OK, the counter will be added to your clip bin for you to drag and drop it to your timeline. Clip Actions So now you've got a bunch of clips, but what can you still do with these before you start editing? Well, right-clicking on a clip yields a few actions. Let's see what we can do. Extract audio. This allows you to grab the audio track of a video clip and create a separate audio clip from it. Transcode. 
If, for some reason, a clip has the wrong resolution or frame rate, you can transcode it on the fly to save some space or convert it to the right resolution straight from Caden Live. Clip Jobs This sub-menu allows you to add some effects or improve on some clips. It has the Stabilize, Automatic Scene Split, Duplicate Clip with Speed Changes and Analyze Keyframe options. Stabilize allows you to remove the shakiness from a video clip by applying a few options, such as the zoom level you'll accept to reduce any movement, and the level of image sharpening to compensate for that zoom. Automatic Scene Split allows you to detect changes in the various scenes and automatically split the clip into multiple ones. For example, if you filmed underwater and then filmed the beach on the same sequence, Kaden Live can detect when you got out of the water and split that video file into two clips, one underwater and one on the beach. The Duplicate Clip with Speed Changes allows you to create a copy of a clip while changing the clip speed. You can select the speed here and if you enter a negative value, such as minus 100%, the clip will play in reverse. Note that you can always apply the speed effect to a clip later from the timeline. Now in your Clip Actions menu you'll also get other options. Clip in Timeline. This will automatically scroll the timeline to bring you to where you added this clip. If you have multiple entries of that clip, this will bring a pop-up menu of all instances in which this clip has been added. Locate Clip This will open a file manager in the directory where the actual file is located. This can be handy if you want to move the clip to your sources folder or simply find it again. Reload Clip This reloads the desired file in Caden Live. If you use an image file, for example, and modified it after you added it to the clip bin, this option will refresh the clip in the bin as well as wherever you used it in the timeline. Duplicate Clip This simply creates a duplicate of the clip with the text copy added to its name. I would advise renaming these clips to avoid getting confused and editing or using the wrong one. Note that you can add the same clip to different places in the timeline multiple times. You don't have to create a duplicate for each appearance of that clip in the timeline. Proxy Clip this will create a proxy clip. This is useful if your machine has trouble previewing the video before rendering, since it will replace the high-resolution source clip with a smaller one that can be used to preview the final project. When rendering, the high-quality source clip will be used, so don't worry about the final quality that you see in the preview. Clip Properties This will display the Clip Properties panel, which allows you to look at the clip's information, force some of these, add some metadata, Add or visualize the markers you added to the clip, or see the motion tracking vectors that you added. We'll talk about this a bit more later. Edit Clip This allows you to edit a clip, if it's an image, an audio clip, or a title. It will open the app you chose in Caden Live Settings to edit these files. For example, you could choose to use Audacity to edit audio clips and GIMP to edit images. Title clips will be edited in Caden Live's Title Editor. Video files cannot be edited here. Rename and Delete Clip. These actions are self-explanatory. Note that they only rename or delete the clips in Caden Live, so the original files won't be touched, deleted or renamed. So that's it for how to handle and interact with clips in Caden Live. In the next video, we'll take a look at the timeline. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.